Imalwa stressed that victims of gender-based violence and the public are not adamant enough in making an example of those committing such crime. What I have observed is that if you hear somebody has been killed or somebody has raped, you find people marching and said, no bail, no bail for a suspect. But the same people are the people who come and say, why are you prosecutor? Don't want to give bail to my relative. She added that many victims who open cases against perpetrators of gender-based violence eventually change their minds. Oh, no. Why should this case continue? The person is my father. No, it's my husband who raped my daughter. Or is the boyfriend who killed the mother and he left the small child? Who is going to take care of this child? Now, if we withdraw cases because of those reasons, what next? Imalwa reasons that the withdrawal of gender-based violence cases contributes greatly to the current growing trend. If we take a stand and say no withdrawals to gender-based gender -based violence matters, I can tell you there will be change. If you go into our our, our files and see how many cases are being withdrawn. And in most cases you see that in murder where gender-based violence is involved, there is always a withdrawal previously, either for assault threat, person threatening the partner, and then later on when the matter is withdrawn, he doesn't come and threaten anymore, he comes and kills.